so I can finish. Stinky. Stinky boy. He's like, oh no. No, mommy, no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, he's like, God, please, no. Not the cold. Not the cold water, mom. Look at you look so much better already. Come on. He's like, I hate you, mommy. Hey, look, you're all diarrhea y back here. If that's even a word. Good boy. Alright, now I'm gonna dry off all the drips because he just oh we're fine. We're gonna get all the drips now. We're dry now. Good boy. We're all done. Yes, we're all done now, sweet boy. You're all dry now. Good boy. So as he gets fuzzier and fuzzier, I will shave all this area down so I can get in there and clean him really good. <laughs> Okay, settle. Alright, settle down. So this is his life since his accident, you know. This this he just doesn't poop right anymore. Okay, guys, because he fractured his pelvis. That's all crooked. It healed wrong. We didn't know we didn't know he had a fractured pelvis till like months after. Like, the, the vet came out and didn't even notice that until months after. So, that happens sometimes. I don't blame the vet, you know, because she came out and did a really good job with emergency care. Like I said, I'm not big on having regular vet visits because that's just... A way to just vaccinate your animal with poison all day long. Um, oops, YouTube's going to ban me for saying that. I'll get a strike for saying the V word. That's like a, that's against the law to say that. <laughs> okay, let me, I gotta put conditioner. Oh yeah, we gotta put conditioner on our tail, sweet boy. Oh, Bella, come on. So Bella got a chance to go to the bathroom before we left. And she did. But then she sits in the car complaining the whole time we're here. Which I hate that she does that. Yeah, don't have a tantrum. There are no tantrums. Oh, I know, your tail's soaked now. I don't know if you guys have seen the spin method. I'm spinning his tail and gets all the water out. And then I'm going to pour the rest of this down his legs. He doesn't like that. But give him a good little currying down his legs. This is why I keep this extra water here. It's just good to have for hand washing and for them to drink. And Yeah, Mary, how you feeling? Better? You feeling better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me get your legs, boy. We're going to give him a currying. So, here I go. I let him know I'm coming. Yeah, I'll give you a currying. I know it's because of the drips. Yeah, it's drippy. Oh, he gets dirty in there. He really does like a curry. What a good boy. So tomorrow is going to be my day off for that. So that's why I'm doing all this work now. Because tomorrow I want to take my one Sabbath day off. Okay, saddle. We're going to just rinse. Make sure all the stuff's off. Yeah, you're a good boy. So it's not a bad idea to cold hose a horse on a regular basis anyways. Just because it's nice for the tendons and the muscles and they run around. Oh, clunky. <laughs> See, he's all clean now. <sighs> you guys want to go back out to your hay now? Oh no. See, he's pooping again and it's diarrhea. Now he's been wormed and sand cleared and everything else. It's just his body does this. 
I know it's like really gross and graphic what I'm showing you, but I'm coming back over here to re-clean up what he just dripped. Yeah, that was pretty nasty, Sinky. Poor guy. It's like I just cleaned you and now you're just disgusting again. Poopy. Poopy, Mr. Poopy Boy. Yeah, you just pooped yourself right back up again. And let me just clean you. Alright, on a more fun note. Let me rinse my hands because I want clean hands for this. I'm not washing my hands directly in their drinking water. I take out. Because there's soap on my hands and conditioner on my hands. Hi! Yeah. I have some paper towel in my pocket. And what I'm going to do is give her a little eye wash because she's got some fly goops. She has a little bit of fly goops on her eyes. Okay. Come here, Mare. Can we wash your little eyes, baby? So I use each different corner for the eyes. So one corner for this eye. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Is he bugging you? Come here. Puppy, we gotta do the other eye. Come here. Jamie. Yeah. Come here, poopy girl. You feel better, I know. Oh, you feel much better, huh? I mean, she's moving like a normal horse again. It is puffy right there, though. It's definitely... Puffy, like there's fluid in there that is about to splooge out in the form of an abscess popping. I don't know if I'll be able to show you where it is when it pops, but yeah, you're fine. Okay, stop kicking, stop kicking. Yeah, it's puffy there, and it's not puffy, it's not puffy like she ate. It's it's puffy like like there's fluid deep inside so this still feels hot but it's not as hot it's still warm there you know for cold hosing it off it's warmer than anywhere else on her body so there's definitely heat right there but the reason I'm not going to re mud her is because I want the day off tomorrow and she's had enough of that liniment you're supposed to put it on for two days in a row but see right here you can tell there's like all kinds of fluid in there it will come out somewhere so my old Jamie used to pop abscesses right on the hairline and I know this because you would see it oozing out the fluid's got to go out somewhere, and it will. She's walking around. She's starting to feel better. The fluid will come out somewhere. I'm going to brush her, show you guys what I got. This is now becoming an almost hour-long video. Okay. So, you stay in the car. It's all mud here. This is the new blanket that I made from Zazzle. Look at that, how beautiful that is. It came yesterday. It was supposed to come today. It came early. So I'm not going to bring this out because it'll get dirty. But what I want to do is stay there. <sighs> hey, pups. Oh, it's over there. Flies get in a car. It's so aggravating. <sighs> oh, I got this. Okay, this is what I had wanted to do since I bought that horse, is crochet a warm-up quarter sheet. Well, I didn't have a pattern for it, so I had to actually buy a quarter sheet. Yeah, we're going to put your quarter sheet on. So this would go on, I guess, if you have, like, your saddle. Hi!
But I think it just goes in like up here, like around your saddle. It doesn't go around the horse's neck or anything. It fits on there. I was thinking it would be really cool to crochet. So there it is. So the saddle goes right here. And this could go like when you're sitting on, it can go either your legs can go under so that the rider stays warm and snuggly. I don't know why I opened that up. Okay, maybe like that. So what I want to do is take the cool granny squares that I've been crocheting and I just want to like use this as a pattern to make like I'll keep this one the way it is but I got that pretty um, blanket because I want to incorporate that into the design so I know you guys can't see the vision because it's in my head but I just picture like a granny square blanket quarter sheet and I had to get this so I would have a pattern. Because I just am that type of person where sometimes it's just easier to just buy the stupid thing and then work off of that as a pattern. Whereas like with his suit coat that I'm making him, that I'm just doing without a pattern. That's actually really more difficult. So yeah, this is all puffy. This is all puffy too all puffy but she's feeling so much better aren't you girl yeah you're feeling so much better and we hosed off the mud off her tail good mare oh yeah it's still warm there you're okay mama you're okay mama he's all clean now mr poopy's all clean Mr. Poopy, are you all clean, Mr. Poopy?